Jameson, likely not the outcome you would have hoped for, but overall, what was it like being back out on the mound here? Yeah, a little weird. Um, coming from the visitor's side, coming out of the first base dugout and stuff, definitely a little weird, but cool to be back. Um, it was a great crowd that came out, and they put together a nice game plan against me and played a really solid game. Aaron said he thought you threw the ball well with the exception of getting hurt by a slug with two home runs tonight. Why do you think you, you struggled in that aspect? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't have the best forcing fastball that I've I've had all year, that's for sure. Um, and against the lineup with eight lefties, that would have been nice to have in my back pocket. So Vogelbach, the, the heater, kind of ran back a little bit. Um, and I'm trying to throw, I got beat on a 3-2 change up away. Um, you know, probably could have gotten that pitch down a little bit better, but, um, you know, whatever. He put a good swing on it. Um, but overall, the breaking balls and stuff felt good. Um, I'll go back, watch video, and figure out how to get that four seam going again. Three and three is over six in the last five. Is it concerning at all, or do you think you're, you're real close to being where you were? Uh, somewhere in the middle. I mean, obviously, it's concerning. Like, I need to figure it out and, and make a change. It's a results-oriented league, but at the same time, like, I feel healthy. Um, I feel like I'm making a lot of quality pitches, um, but I'm getting burned. It seems like every outing just on a couple of pitches uh, with runners on especially. So kind of a give and take. Like, uh, I don't want to go change anything drastic, but it's probably also time to go kind of peel it back a little bit and see what's going on. You said something like no, I, th I think I'm pretty clean there. I think it just comes down to avoiding slug with runners on. Um, against Houston, I gave up a couple three-run homers. Uh, tonight, I gave up some damage with, with runners on and two-run homers. So, um, you know, they kind of say, like, solo shots don't beat you, but giving up homers with guys on definitely can beat you. So... That's really what I'm talking about. Is that something that you go, like, halfway through the season, you go and look and see what is it? Because you can't do the same thing the whole season, right? Yeah, yeah. There's different things you can do. You can go peel back all the layers. I can look at how every pitch is performing. Um, you know, I can go look at where my strengths are, where I want, you know, my forcing to be and where I'm missing, where the damage is happening. Um, righties, lefties. Uh, I can look at different sides of the plate, where the slug's coming from and stuff. So I'll peel it all back and, and see what we got. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's like a delivery change or anything. I think it just comes down to execution when it really counts. James, what did it mean to you to have them play a tribute video, play your warm-up song, etc.? Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Um, yeah, I'm not used to having my, my walkout song play in a visiting stadium, so um, that was cool. Um, hopefully I can get like a copy of the video they play, and I'd like to have that for the rest of my life. Jim, when was the last time, if ever, you had pitched here with a crowd that size? Or, you know? Uh, I don't know, maybe the home opener of 2018 or something. That was a, definitely a nice crowd. They were, they were pack, packing it in, and um, you know, it seemed like there were a lot, of, a lot of Pirates faithful out there, so cool for them.